it looks like that right there is one of the most painful things that I have ever seen anybody do to a child. Sean is clowning him for losing custody of his kid. That damn tooth. Oh my God. It's just like, I'm sorry. Why won't you feel it? Because it's the juice. And if you don't have the juice, you don't have it. So if you don't have the juice, you can't capitalize. Fill the room with the juice. So that's a lot of loot. That bit fire. Yeah, she coming. So tell me why. I just woke up, actually I lied, it's been like an hour, a little bit over an hour, but I had a crazy dream this morning. And guess who the corporate is? Guess who the corporate is? The corporate is Terry freaking Joe. I rarely have dreams with influencers, definitely celebrities, but influencers, not, not, not much. But when I tell you guys, I woke up hyperventilating, like I was like, <laughs> like I was literally having an anxiety attack. Like it was so bad. So before we hop into today's video about Krishan and Blueface, thank you for commenting and saying that you wanted my take on it. Because honestly, this entire situation, I, I don't really keep up with this sector. So the fact that I even know a smidget of what the hell's going on is impressive for me but anyways let's get into this dream if you are brand new here hello my name is pearl sometimes we do reactions commentaries and sometimes i tell you about my crazy ass dreams because they literally are so crazy so basically we were going to this influencer event type situation and it was in la however in the dream it kept switching from la to dallas cole harrigan was there too i do not know why but cole harrigan was there and then a couple other influencers i believe jenna was there and not jenna marbles but this jenna but i did not meet her on TikTok. I met her on Meet Me, but we follow each other on TikTok. Besides the point, she wasn't really in this sector of the dream anyway. Basically, we're walking to this apartment. As we're walking to this apartment, the apartment ends up changing into Dallas, at least from my memory. I'm like, yeah, we're in LA right now, but this is definitely Dallas. But obviously I'm in a dream, so I'm just like going with the flow. So we go to this one girl's apartment and she says, Terry Joe's coming later. Um, She's about to be here, whatever, whatever. I'm like, okay, cool. So they're all getting ready. I'm already ready. So I just lay down for a little bit, watch watching some TV and then I end up passing out. While I'm passing out, I end up waking up to people watching Terry Joe live on TV, meaning on TikTok, but on YouTube. So if you YouTube Terry Joe live, like you'll be able to see a whole bunch of channels that screen record her lives and put them on YouTube. So they were watching that, whatever. So once I get up, I'm walking around and I'm looking for a mirror. And as I'm looking for a mirror, Terry Joe is following me from behind. And I'm just looking at her like, girl, are you okay? Why are you following me? So she's like, oh, I just need to fix your hair real quick. I was like, okay. So she starts fixing one of my braids and, and the braid that she's fixing is actually this thick. Like it's this thick. It's not even like this size. Like think this much bigger. And I was thinking that was kind of weird, but I didn't want to say nothing because it was my first time meeting Terry Joe. So I was just like, hmm okay maybe she just wants to do something a little quirky back there that I'm not aware of I, I have no idea so we get into the mirror as we get into the mirror I go like this and as I go like this literally Terry Joe has taken out half of my braids while I was sleeping and I was like WTF like I was genuinely so mad I was like what the heck and she was like oh yeah girl we're gonna have to change that right on up because there's no way you're coming with us with your hair looking like that okay you need to get your braids done and immediately I'm just like First of all, yes, I do need to get my braids redone. But secondly, we don't have time for that right now, Terry. Like we literally don't have time for that. So why would you even think that that was a plausible solution to the, to the problem? Like it just, it didn't make sense. And she was just like, oh no, honey, I know how to do hair. Don't you worry. I'm gonna go ahead and get this done for you. So at this moment, I'm just pissed off because we already need to leave. So I'm just like, girl, you're not gonna be able to do half of my freaking hair in like little braids. And she's like, yeah, I know. We're just gonna do one big braid. I was like, excuse me? Like, first of all, are you trolling me? Like, I was honestly so, like, I was getting mad. Like, I was actually getting heated. And she was just like, why are you getting so upset? And I was just like, because you took my braids out while I was sleeping. Like, listen, again, this is a very unique dream. And obviously not everybody has braids. So let me know if you had a dream where somebody is taking your braids out of your hair without your knowledge. But besides the damn point, I started getting very freaking upset like to the point where I'm just like you know what I'm just gonna go ahead and leave and Terry's just like oh you're gonna go ahead and leave you're gonna go ahead and leave is that what you're gonna do see and that's exactly why you don't grow honey that's exactly why you don't do well because you do not collaborate you do not diversify your content and that's why you don't grow you really you really shouldn't even be with us anyway
anyway. And just literally acting exactly the way Terry Joe would act in a live, but in real person. And so at this point, I'm just like, you know what, Terry, it's fine. Don't worry about it. You guys have fun. I'm leaving. And she's like, and of course you are. And of course you are, because you're weak minded. Because you're weak minded. That's who you are. That's what you do. And I'm just like, oh, my. like the way she was coming for me, y'all. <laughs> It's not even funny because I was really hypervillaining. I was really hypervillaining when I woke up. So anyways, I end up leaving. And at this point, when I'm leaving and walking out the door, I realized that I don't even know where the heck I am. Like I know where I am, but I don't know where I am. Meaning, yes, I'm in LA, but this looks like Dallas. So I walk out and as I am crossing every single street, like every like like crosswalk, it starts going back and back, like deeper into like my childhood, like into my adolescence my adolescence. So for example, one street I cross, I end up at an apartment that I used to go to all the time when I was a kid. And I was just like, what the heck? Like, why am I, why am I here? Like I need to be going home. But at the same time, I didn't even know what home was because I didn't have a home and I don't have a home in Dallas. So I was just like, oh my gosh, where am I actually going? But I just kept walking. Then I end up at Six Flags. Six Flags in Arlington, Texas. Yes. With the Hurricane Harbor, all of that. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, what, what am I doing here now? So then I keep walking again and then I end up at another apartment and I just was like, okay, this is getting too crazy. Like I can't get home. I'm just going to sit down. So I start to sit down and I just start crying because I'm just like, I don't know how to get like home. Like I'm lost. Like I'm literally lost in this dream. So I felt stuck, you know? And then after that, all of these random, like gross, like crackhead homeless looking like men started like trying to touch me and come up to me like oh honey you lost you need some help I can help you and I just started kicking people you guys like I just started like I kicked this black guy I was like get off of me leave me alone like I don't need your help leave me alone it was just so it was it was so crazy but anyway so then another guy comes up to me and he's just like let me call you an uber let me call you an uber you're fine and so he starts calling he, he starts trying to call me an uber and then he's like what's your address where do I need to take you and then I just start busting out crying because I don't have an address I I don't know where you're gonna take me. I don't have nowhere to go. So I just started crying and I'm like having like a mini panic attack, like, <sighs> like literally hyperventilating. And it got to the point where I was just like, okay, I can't finish this dream. Like I'm stuck. There's no way for me to, you know, get to where I need to go after this. Like I need to go ahead and wake up. And so I was just like, you know what? No, it's fine. I'm just gonna wake up. And he was like, you're just gonna wake up. And I was just like, yes, this is a dream. This isn't real. Like I need to wake up. And the second I say that everybody turns at me, like just all these random strangers just turn at me. Cause you know how you're not supposed to say that you're in a dream when you're in a dream, or at least if you do, then you get like really weird type energy kind of coming towards you. I don't know if anyone has experienced that, but if you have, let me know. And so then I just wake up and as I'm waking up, I am literally like, <sighs> like with tears in my eyes, like I was really hyperventilating over Terry Joe taking my damn braids out. And I started wallowing, like I really started getting like super sad about it because I was just like, oh my God, Terry J's right. Like I'm never gonna be like a known influencer and I'm always gonna have like no followers. And like, I just started really like getting sad. And then I was just like, this is a dream, like I'm tripping. But then I was like, let me just open up my damn, YouTube comments. So I start responding back to comments and then that's when I saw uh, your comment saying to do a video on Krishan and Blueface. So that is how we have landed here. But you guys, the way I absolutely could not believe this dream, because one, why am I really sitting here crying over some braids? Secondly, why was I really worried about what Terry Joe thinks when I don't even know Terry Joe? meaning this is my first time even meeting her and it was in a damn dream. It wasn't even real anyway. Y'all, the way this really had me just shook. Anyway, so I woke up, went and made me some breakfast, calmed down, had some water. <laughs> did my makeup <laughs> and now here I am with 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 the braids still intact and in my head because what was that I and, and you know what's so annoying is I was already awake like I wasn't planning on going back to sleep but I was just like whatever I can just do like two hours and then I had that messed up dream and now I'm just pissed off that I didn't just go ahead and stay awake and get stuff done early instead of trying to go back to sleep but anywho's let me know your thoughts on my ridiculous dream down below and let's hop into this content so Krishan clowns Blueface for getting his kids taken away so like I said in the beginning of the video I really do not keep up with with them I, I truly don't keep up with them I don't really know much about them in detail the way that I think there are people that are like hardcore Krishan you know rock blue face fans like they very much know every in and out of everything but I do follow this photographer Frank who was taking pictures of her for I think like maybe two three weeks he was taking pictures of her when she was pregnant then he took a picture of her going on a jet or something like that and so I was slowly kind of getting into the Krishan verse if you want to call it that and now that she's had her baby I'm definitely in it more than I thought I ever would be so let's hop in here I don't know if he actually got his kids taken away I don't know if this is just like 
one of them titles to make people click or something like that. But besides the point, 10 minute video. And let me just say this, Blueface is really not cute to me. I don't know like why people are so wrapped up in him. I, I Like I'm surprised he even has like women that are like wanting him, but I guess there is the factor of the clout, the money and all of that. But for me, I'm just like, this is not somebody I would ever entertain. I would not, like there would be nothing in my soul that would be like, I wanna go hang out with Blueface absolutely the freak not also i did see a video about krishan talking about how she lost her tooth but regardless of her losing her tooth can you guys explain to me why she's not getting it fixed because i'm not trying to be rude but i'm really trying to figure out like girl if you have the money go get the fake tooth go get the implant like go fix it or is she just trying to keep it because I don't know, it makes her look unique or something. I don't know. But every time I see her smile and talk and that tooth is just not there, I just I just can't help but just, you know what in them looks? Just like, it's, it's it, I'm just like, girl, go get it fixed. I'm not understanding. Like, if it was me and I had a bag, trust me, my teeth would be on point. Blueface and his son around dancers in their home. Law enforcement tells TMZ, sheriff's deputies have been called to the rapper's Los Angeles area home a whopping nine times. Oh, come here. A whopping nine times, but again, big house, money, CPS ain't gonna give a damn. CPS is, uh, I've talked about them in previous videos. If you know, you know. Who you chicks out here? You ain't here looking for chicks. Are you gay? You ain't gay, right? My man. So it looks like that right there is one of the most painful things that I have ever seen anybody do to a child because one, you're already implementing and letting that child know that being gay is a bad thing. And not to say that it is or isn't because I know we got them religious people out there that are like, okay, first of all, the Bible definitely says that it's bad, but that's a child. That is a, that is a whole child. And why are you asking them if they're gay at that age? It just doesn't make sense. And then once they get older, what if they do decide to be gay? And then they look back at that. You know what I mean? Like, it's just like, what kind of parent is this? Blueface might have to give up on causing drama for Krishan because he just landed himself in some hot mess right now. He recently got a visit from CPS and it looks like he might just get his two kids taken away from him. This comes only days after he threatened to take Krishan's baby away. And Krishan is clowning him for losing custody of his kid. That damn tooth. Oh my God. It's just like, I'm sorry. Why won't you feel it? It's just like, I just wish I had like some paste so i don't know what it like is does she just want to keep it can y'all please let me know because i really don't i'm not trying to come for her and i really don't know i'm just curious like why and she's so confident with it just like eh, it just <laughs> i'm sorry i'm sorry so is this just karma doing this big one again or did Krishan make a cps call yes then came to blue face house messing with Krishan. see he's not answering the dodo and mind you they didn't come in y'all so it looks like Krishan rock is getting the last laugh when it comes to this drama with blue face right, because listen karma is dealing with blue face get it with him on. this entire drama has been going on for months now because blue face has been putting Krishan through you a whole lot of drama ever him. since she announced she was having a baby but the thing is blue face didn't want a baby with her even though he had a baby with his first baby mama Jaden alexis while he was dating Krishan. that girl Jaden. I'm at a point where it's just like men are picking women that I just would never think they would pick. Like, and I get it. You can go ahead and buy a body now and you can have all of that and this and that and, and the titties and all of that. But it's just like, I don't know. It's just sometimes I just be seeing like these men, meaning like men that have money with women that I'm just like. Just like that. Straight silence and I'm staring. Even worse, he made Krishan get rid of three pregnancies while having another child with Jaden. What hurt? Let me tell you what hurt. When you told me that's crazy. Babies, and then have a baby with a pregnant like with. That's that's what really hurt. So yeah, Krishan put her foot down and, and to think she got his whole face on her neck. Who? <sighs> the way this new generation just be sh they be having me shook. There is not a man that I have ever. It don't matter if we were together forever years months weeks it doesn't it does it doesn't matter if there was an engagement child there is no one on the face of this earth where i'm about to be tattooing your face to my body are you insane insisted that she had had enough and was going to have the baby are you Blue insane decided to make very much some trouble for her but i can't believe she did that but i know she's gonna get it to answer your questions up. yes me and rock are officially done it's strictly business i tried it and clearly it wasn't given before she announces she's pregnant with somebody else child not mine rock has had encounters with 10 different men in the last year so i see a dna test and it's not mine it's not a blue face baby he also continued to i just cannot imagine somebody just putting me on blast like that publicly i just <laughs> I am so sorry. I just can't, I can't imagine that. I think that's why, like, I gravitate to dating people that are just not on social media because it's just so in good, because it's just so engraved in what I just, 
originally do you know what I mean like as a youtuber and content creator so it's just like I would rather be with somebody that just is not in that world and has no idea who I'm talking about to publicly pressure hard to get rid of the pregnancy because what do you mean as as 10 different men between them like this one where he said I'm gonna be a cheater forever I'm not even gonna hide it for real you don't want to be stuck at home with a see and that's what I'm talking about right there I'm gonna be a cheater forever I just can't imagine And what, like, the girl's supposed to be okay with this? Like, okay, yeah, I'm going to be with this cheater. That's fine. As long as I, as long as you come back home to where you know home is and as long as you pay for everything and buy me cars and designer bags, baby, nah. Nah, not over here in these streets. For me, I will gladly be single before I am picking and allowing anyone to just be a forever cheater. Are you insane? the baby while i'm with the next young d a baby will make us stuck you don't want to be stuck with somebody i will like never be faithful well, or loyal to you revealed that blue face was in fact the father but it didn't make him start treating her any different in fact, his behavior progressively got worse and worse until krishani worse and worse okay oh my god i'm dead eventually decided to dump him after he threatened to kick her in the stomach until she then lost the baby okay pause i did not know that and i can't imagine anybody telling me that they are going to kick me or hurt me because I'm pregnant. I can't. I can't. I can't. <laughs> Let me shut up. Like you don't think I'll kick you and kick you in your stomach and you be much. <laughs> like That's they took crazy. my phone, make sure I wasn't recording and none of that. Like, all right, long story short, right? I try to get up. He like make one more step to the door. I'm up. Like yo was like psychopathically weird. He even announced to the world that he wasn't going to be paying child support to Krishan, saying whoever the judge is on my child support case, I told this girl I don't want the baby. She still got time to get rid of it, and she forced it on me. So you better make the price right. She trying to trap me again. Krishan decided to stay away from this drama, and she never really replied to Blueface's shenanigans on social media. Well, fast forward, and she finally had her baby boy. And since she went live on Instagram to stream, and I watched that, and first of all, that entire video was hilarious to me. I, but I, I would not want, if I'm having a baby, there's not going to be any footage that's going to be allowed for the public. A absolutely not. Absolutely not. But again, they are living completely different lives. But the baby is so cute. Oh my gosh. The baby is adorable. The entire thing to her fans, we found out that Blueface was not with her in the room while she gave birth. In fact, he was nowhere he close sure to the wasn't. hospital because he was out partying in Miami with Jaden. <laughs> And apparently Jaden is bisexual, so is that why? Like, like, look at this. Look at that. I just... Sometimes my brain goes, should I say this? Yeah, I'm gonna say this. She must suck a mean dick. I mean, that's, that's where my brain goes. Because it's just like, why? Like, I feel like he could do so much better. Am I wrong? Rather than feel remorseful, Blueface continued to create more drama for Krishan, tweeting, Social media is all entertainment for me, guys. Nothing I say or do has anything to do with rock. I broke up with her three months ago. I'm with someone else now. I've been posting my baby mama nonstop for three months now. I'm all about Jaden now. Please keep me and Rock out the same conversation. Respect my baby mama. The situation is so messy that Krishan... And he put baby mama number one. Yo. Ooh. See, this is... This is why I say I can never, I don't think I could ever have kids in America. I just can't, not to say it's just only Americans doing this, but it's just so ingrained in the culture. It's just like, I'm not about that baby mama life, like at all whatsoever. And if, if it were to happen, I'm number one, okay? I'm just gonna say that. So let me shut up, but you know what I'm saying? I had to finally address it. And she tweeted, I simply ain't invite him. I went to my city to have my child. None of you weird people ain't finna be around my son. I'm all he got. I'm gonna do everything I can to protect him from hate and jealousy or anything. His name As is Krishan. He will be loved and respected. She also opened up about how she was hurting with his actions, saying, Let me heal for real. Stop trying to make something about another woman knowing you will leave her any day for me. Your son will be waiting for his daddy to grow the F up. It's hurting you, but you can be a man about this. He probably thought that Blueface was going to give it a rest, but the situation quickly got more insane because Blueface threatened to take the baby away from Krishan only two days after he was born. Krishan posted the video of herself in the gym trying to get her body back and Blueface took offense to it. So Oh, I remember that. Um, <laughs> and it was like a gym in her in Blue her spot. It wasn't even rant, public. Saying, if she don't take my son serious, I'm gonna make that her main focus and priority for at least 30 days. I will file for custody. You've been warned. 24 hours later, literally, I can't believe y'all thought a kid would change anything. In the first 48 hours, the baby has been held and touched by 20 different people. I, I think they call this uh or at least on black Twitter, light skinned energy. Is is that correct? Because why do you care again? It's just, I, their dynamic is just so 
it's like another level of toxicity that I have just never experienced. I've never experienced it. It's just, it's just insane. Kid not finna be hurt and touched on like everybody in her family. Now, 20 different people is a problem, but that's just a very cruel thing to say. But this is Blueface we're talking about here, so it's not at all surprising that he would have no tact with something like this. He also said, I'm putting pressure on her to tighten up. She's under a microscope now, so she needs to take my son serious. I have no intentions of taking him from her, but if she don't get a grip and focus on our son instead of clout, I will have to do what is best for the baby. I don't care about Rock, I care about the baby. Now, that seems nice and all, like he's trying to step up, but most fans thought that they could see through his BS because it's just wild that he spent months publicly pressuring her to get rid of the pregnancy and talking about how he doesn't want the baby, but all of a sudden he's out here threatening to take the baby from her because he didn't think that she was taking enough care of the child this is just wild though because it's super obvious to everyone who has watched Krishan with the baby that she is super obsessed with him but in like a good way she loves her baby and it's wild that blueface would try to say that she wasn't doing right by the baby but while people saw through blueface's shenanigans Krishan was upset by his threats and she broke down on instagram live vowing that she would never let anybody take her baby away what you say oh i'm gonna take this you have no you have no say so don't ever bro bro nobody taking my kid bro Nobody taking my baby from me, y'all. Nobody taking my baby from me, y'all. You know how much shit. Even if he successfully did that, actually, no, I don't even think it's possible. Secondly, <laughs> I'm on your side. I'm definitely on your side because I can't imagine having a baby and a man telling me he gonna take my baby away. Excuse me. Uh, let me go ahead and buy a calendar so that we can schedule in the time that you need because no, you're not gonna take my baby. Especially because women hold this baby for nine months no alcohol no smoking you gotta eat right your mood's messed up your vagina might tear i mean all kinds of stuff is going on when you're having a child so it's like what do you mean you're gonna try to take my baby are you crazy and I took when I was pregnant with him. But fans were more upset at Blueface for putting Are you crazy? Stress Seriously. And drama. Just days after she gave birth to his child, it was obvious that Blueface was still chasing Cloud with the situation because Rashawn was getting a lot of attention and support from fans while he and Jaden were getting dragged. But the situation took a dramatic turn when TMZ reported that Blueface and Jaden had gotten a visit from CPS for putting their son in a very inappropriate environment. It turns out that CPS had gotten a call regarding a video that Blueface posted on Instagram where he had exotic dancers around his five year old son. The boy didn't want to look at or touch the dancers and he went to look for food. And for some reason, this made Blueface wonder if the boy was gay. Son, come here. It's just crazy. It's like, you ain't here for chips. Are you gay? You ain't gay, right? My man. Listen, y'all, dysfunction, dysfunction, dysfunction. This is just all say the mess up. And it turns out that this was not the first time he had gotten a visit from CPS. Because according to TMZ, he has gotten CPS visits nine times between May and now, which comes to about every two weeks. And that's crazy. Well, it looks like this particular CPS visit done put the fear of God in him because he is no longer dragging her. Well, at least for now. He tweeted, I trust Krishan with my son. That's it. Nobody else. She's actually very nurturing and caring. Good with kids, no doubt. Just a little impatient. And that baby needs patience. Can't just get up and go no more. I'm being patient as hell. You don't think I want to get up and go right now? Timing not right. Listen, not him eating his own words, but well, according to an insider, Krishan thinks that karma is finally catching up the blue face in the best way possible. He threatened to take her child away from her, and now CPS could be taking his child away from him. And she thinks that it's karmic justice because the universe is handling things for her. Another source revealed that Krishan has been clowning Blueface because of how embarrassing the situation is. He has been claiming that he and Jaden are the best parents ever, only for him to get exposed for getting bi-weekly CPS visits because they're not as great as they want to try to lead us to believe. Krishan is not the only one clowning Blueface, though, because the streets have been talking. And they love comments saying, do this worried about Krishan being a good mom, but you just had CPS called on you. Blueface such a clown. Now how Blueface gonna try and take Krishan baby and the CPS folk finna take <laughs> his? And Blueface dumb self thinks he can get Krishan's son. Meanwhile, CPS real. just did a drive-by. How you wanna take someone's baby meanwhile yours are about to get taken? And plus, your dumb self was out partying instead of signing the birth certificate. Y'all, this is a hot, hot mess. But I need to know what y'all think about all of this. Do you think that the CPS call was random or do you think that Krishan might have had something to do with it? Let me know what y'all think in the comments and then check out this next video. Yo. I personally really just don't understand why he's so salty. You know what I think it is? It's because, because weren't they, they were, they were like high school sweethearts and stuff. Like they were together for a minute. And I feel like Krishan obviously has a following, you know, people rock with her, people like her, people like partying with her, people like her energy, all that. And I think she's a Pisces, right? I could be wrong about that. But re regardless, you know, it's just, I think he's, I think he's just salty because I think he expected... Oh, if I drop her, then like she ain't nothing. She ain't nobody. But it's definitely the opposite. And I think a lot of people don't even realize that. Like depending on who you date and who you're with, like energy can be just transmuted and transferred real quick. And you're going to be sitting there thinking like, oh, well, I was the one that had all that first. This person was just an extension to me. So why they got this, that, and the third now? Yada, yada, yada. You know, whatever. Especially when it starts coming to like finances, clout, and just status, and like all the things that people just really don't 
don't like seeing, especially if they're not incorporated in it in some way. Because for, for me, it's just like, I just do not like their dynamic. Like it's so, it's so beyond toxic. It's so beyond toxic. Like actually, let me look something up real quick. Cause I'm just curious. Oh, bye. Blue face is an Aquarius. That's why I don't like him. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> If you're an Aquarius, I apologize. I, I just don't really jive with Aquariuses like that. I, I never have. I'm sorry. Don't know what to, don't know what to tell you, but I'm not about to lie. Yeah, and Krishan's a Pisces. Yeah, I don't know what the hell they was doing together anyway. Um, but again, I'm just looking at the sun sign. I don't know their whole chart. But um, yikes. He's an Aquarius. Oof. Yeah, I'm definitely not on his side now. Definitely not. Let's read some of these comments before we go. That's so sad. I hope she don't let him near the child since he clearly said how he felt about some fathers don't deserve deserve to be fathers. Mm-hmm, I know that's right. Honestly, he documents everything. I, exactly, exactly. <laughs> Every reason for CPS to pull up. That's what I'm saying. I, it's crazy to me how people just, you know, pull out their phone and they just live, live, live. Like I used to be live a lot too, but not on Instagram, definitely not. Not on TikTok. But I just feel like the whole like being live all the time thing, especially when you do have like a large following. I don't know, I feel like I, you gotta be careful about, you know, what you're doing, what you're showing, why you're showing it, what you're saying. You know what I mean? Especially the whole less communicative somebody else but we're gonna do it through a live and through tweets like stop pick up the phone and call that person it does not make any sense for everybody and their mama to be involved and then you be mad because everybody has an opinion it's like well you putting everybody's opinion in it by being that way you know what i mean as soon as that preacher prayed over blue face and the baby god's karma is powerful <laughs> In Jesus' name, Blue is losing control. Wait, Blue is losing the control he has over her. I know that's right. I don't even know why she would allow him to even have control anyway. More power and grace to Krishan. See, like, everybody's on Krishan's side. But I need y'all to just, like, like, what's up? Like, can we not get the tooth fixed? Like, what's up with that? Can we not get the, you know, I'm sticking to that. I don't care how it sounds. I'm sticking to it. Anyways, this is clearly spiritual warfare for her. I recognize it. Mm-hmm. Rock didn't call no CPS on Blueface. <laughs> So people need to stop saying that. I don't know why she would anyway. I don't even think it would be needed. I think it it would be very much easy to do that alone by the way that he is as a freaking father because what? Asking your son if he's gay and then praising him that he's not. Come on now. And then and then putting it on live for everybody to see. That's just crazy to me. People are having kids that <laughs> really shouldn't be having kids man i don't care how much money you have you clearly should not be a parent absolutely should not be anyways i'm done with this tea let me know your thoughts on my crazy dream and let me know your thoughts on krishan and blueface do you think that uh blueface is done and over with because i'm actually confused on how he is still like famous and people care about what's going on with him but like, i'm I don't even know one blue face song. I'm gonna be very real with y'all. Actually, let me let me type blue face most popular songs and see if anything even resonates to me. Mm. Oh, 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 he, wait, no. Did he do Tatiana? Tatiana, that sounds familiar, right? Mm, I think that's the only one. I'm looking at all these other, all these other, um, yeah, I think I'm too old. I think I'm too old to know this. Let me listen to it real quick. Oh, okay, okay, because he did a song with Cardi B. Okay, when did this come out? Oh, 2019. How come I can't remember it, though? It's not, like, it's not in my head. I ain't trying to get copyrighted, though, so I'm gonna cut it out, but hold on. Let me see if I can just remember before we dip. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I remember. <laughs> oh, so he did that? <laughs> See what I mean? I didn't even know that. <laughs> I didn't even know. I'm so lame. Anyways, like I said, I'm too old, clearly. Uh, And yeah, have a good day, y'all. I'm gonna go get me some coffee. Let me know your thoughts. And don't be a Tatiana, okay? Because what the hell? I don't understand this generation. I, I don't. Jaden? Maybe we should do a Jaden reaction because I haven't heard any of her music either. Let me know. Let me know. Bye. Is there more?